Hi, this is Dawn Billings with The Capables. This is Elizabeth. Say hi, Elizabeth. And this is Mason. And we're here today to talk to you about how you can use The Capables to help teach your children, young children, as early as age three, thought management. We all know thoughts are things and that what we think about comes about. But how do you teach a young child to control and manage their thoughts? I have met many adults that find it difficult to control and manage their thoughts. So we're going to be talking about the easy, easy thought management part of the capable system. We'll be using Elizabeth. Now, when your child has a negative thought, let's say they've had a bad dream or they're mad at their brother and you ask them to change their thought, what are they going to say? I can't. They always will answer, I can't. So what you do is you say, bring me your capable. Now you sit down with a piece of paper and you write down that bad thought, whatever it might be. I'm afraid of the boogie monster or I don't like my brother. And you write that thought down, you fold it up and you unzip the capable's head and put the bad thought in the capable's head and zip it back up. You hand the capable to your child and you say, take the bad thought out of their head. So you unzip the capable's head, the child reaches in and removes the bad thought. That's a very concrete, tangible movement. And children are very concrete thinkers and they process information in a very concrete way. They have now removed the negative thought from, the, from Elizabeth's head. So what do you want to do with the thought? Do you want to throw it in the trash, flush it down the toilet, and it turns it into a game. Now, the minute that we've turned something into a game, we have moved children into their frontal cortex. If they're angry or if they're scared, they're usually moved back into their primal cortex where they're in a reactive state. But if we move them into their frontal cortex, they're in a creative thinking, problem-solving state. So they say, I want to flush it down the toilet. You run into the bathroom, you flush the bad thought down the toilet. It is so much fun for them. Then you say, oh, nature abhors a vacuum. So we have to put something back in Elizabeth's head. Let's put the greatest thoughts that we can think. So you sit down and you write down exactly what comes out of your child's mouth that they think are the greatest thoughts. I love my mommy. God is good. My home is beautiful. I love my doggy. It doesn't matter what great thought they come up with. If they say it, it's a great thought to them. You write it down. Now, with a paper full of great thoughts, you fold it up, hand it to your child, and have them put it into Elizabeth's head. They put the great thoughts into Elizabeth's head, and then they zip it up. And you ask them, what is Elizabeth thinking? This is amazing. They will always smile hugely and say, great thoughts. But this is the most important question. You follow up with saying, what are you thinking? It's magic. It's like a light bulb goes off in their head and all of a sudden they say, oh, great thoughts. And in a very tangible, playful, delightful, concrete way, you have taught children that they can take a bad thought out of their head and put in any great thought that they want. Repeat this, develop this habit for your child and you will discover as young adults they are accomplishing things that they would have never dreamed that they could do because now they know the value of putting the right thoughts in their head. This is Don Billings with Elizabeth and Mason, the Capables, hoping that you have a thoughtful, beautiful day.